This is Kevin Durant, and after losing in the 2019 NBA Finals, KD would choose to leave Curry and the Warriors to then join Kyrie in Brooklyn. This is the absolute worst day in the history of the New York Knicks franchise. But in today's video, we'll be changing NBA history as KD will be forced to stay loyal and stay in Golden State. All right, so as you guys can see, we are in the year 2019, 2020. And remember that literally all three got injured in the 2019 playoffs, or should I say the 2019 finals. Klay Thompson tore his ACL, Kevin Durant tore his Achilles. And then for Curry, he actually got injured a year later after KD and Klay Thompson have already got injured. So I'm not gonna lie, the first season is not gonna be all that. We're gonna go ahead and simulate, and then uh, I'll see you guys in the second season. We're re He's simulating the bubble year. Let's see who goes on to win. The Warriors didn't even make it to the playoffs, obviously. Wow. And the Clippers go on to win with Paul George winning finals MVP. All right. Now we're in the year 2020, 2021. KD and Curry would end up returning. Klay Thompson would also end up returning, but then tear his MCL. Or actually, no, he tore his Achilles. First, he tore his ACL, came back, practiced, and somehow got injured again and tore his Achilles. But yes, going into the 2021 NBA season, we have KD and Curry, and the rest of the squad is looking all right, I'd say. We have a chance to do something. We're going to be without Klay Thompson for one more season. Let's see what happens, though. All right, at the end of the 2021 NBA season, AD goes on to win MVP again, going back to back. LaMelo goes on to win Rookie of the Year. Andrew Wiggins goes on to win Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis goes on to win Defense Player of the Year again. DeAndre Aiden goes on to win Most Improved. Curry goes on to have an outstanding year, averaging 29 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists with 2 steals. And for Kevin Durant, he went on to average 29, 8, and five with one steal and almost one block and boy oh boy is this gonna be fun because without clay thompson we still managed to finish second in the west with a record of 51 and 31 so just imagine what we're capable of doing with clay thompson next season but in the first round we're playing up against the denver nuggets now this team is all right at the moment but in a couple years they're gonna be unstoppable they finished seventh this year but um we've taken game one they take game two we take game three, we take game four, and we beat them in five games. Next, we're playing the San Antonio Spurs as this team finished third in the West. I don't know how they even made it to that point, but hey, it is what it is. We still take game one. KD with 37, eight and two. Going into game two, the Spurs take game two. We take game three, we take game four, and we once again finish them off in five games to meet up against the LA Lakers in the Western Conference Finals, the number one seed in the West. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what this team is looking like. Alex Caruso, Troy Brown, LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, and Anthony Davis. This is the year where AD and LeBron, I'm pretty sure, right? This is the year where they got hurt, like in the playoffs. I'm not going to lie. The Lakers actually had a chance to go back to back that year, but they, they got hurt. So it is what it is. So going into game one, the Lakers take game one AD with 37, 13, and 5. KD 36, 10, and 5. Just not enough, I guess. Going into game two, the Lakers take game two. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here come the Lakers. Let's go. We take game three. Oh man. Oh man. And we get eliminated in just five games to the LA Lakers. Freaking wow. As we get a finals of the Milwaukee Bucks versus the LA Lakers. This is this this is crazy right here. I would have loved to watch this. For the fun of it, let's see who goes on to win. Lakers take game 1. They take game 2. Oh my god, and the Lakers go on to win back to back. AD going crazy. Just imagine if Bron and AD never got injured that year. All right, man, the first two seasons was a complete failure. I don't know, man. We might be able to go all the way this year. We're now in the year 2022, which is actually the year that Klay Thompson came back IRL, as you guys can see. But the Golden State Warriors went on to win the championship facing the Boston Celtics in the finals. But this time is going to be a little different as we still got Kevin Durant on the Golden State Warriors. Let's see what happens, man. We got a full squad. All right, at the end of the season, Giannis goes on to win MVP. Josh Giddy winning Rookie of the Year. Christian Wood winning Sixth Man of the Year. Rudy Gobert winning Defensive Player of the Year. And then Steve Kerr with Coach of the Year as we went on to have an insane record of 69-13. and 13. There is no way we don't win this year. I mean, Curry went on to average 26 4 
four and five with kd averaging 26 five and three clay thompson 19 two and two draymond green all right numbers i mean casual draymond green numbers with six six and eight yeah i mean there's no way we don't win right i mean we're the best team in the league they already went on to win the championship with this current roster IRL in this year but now adding KD come on there's no way we don't win but in the first round we're playing the Houston Rockets a mid team a very young team that doesn't have a, that doesn't stand a chance should I say as we take the lead 2-0 3-0 sweep them in four games to now advance to the second round to play the LA Lakers it's time for some revenge man now this is the mid Lakers team right here the team with Russell Westbrook Malik Monk LeBron Carmelo AD they went old after uh, last year, so there's no way they're beating us. We win game one, they take game two. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Come on. You know what? We're gonna jump in with the Simcast just for the fun of it. In game six, will the Lakers force a game seven or can we beat them in six games to advance to the, oh boy. It's a close one, let's jump in. Less than 40 seconds on the clock. Oh, Curry, you should have pulled that. You were wide open, bro. Come on, don't, don't force that. And he makes that still. <laughs> wow. Warriors are up to with LeBron bringing the ball up the court. And they call timeout. All right, man. The Lakers inbounds the ball. Come on. We need a stop right here. If we get a stop right here, this game is over with. All we need is one stop. LeBron with the ball in his hands. KD guarding him. Oh, Russell. I wish you would have pulled that. Uh-oh. He missed. This game is over with. <laughs> this game is over with. Let's go. The Warriors have made it to the Western Conference Finals for another chance to make it to the finals. This is interesting because we're now playing the Memphis Grizzlies in the third round of the playoffs. We're playing John Morant, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson, and Brandon Clark. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, don't, I do not know how they made it this far. There's no way they're taking this out. I, I don't believe in them, there's no way. We're up to one. Uh-oh. Oh boy, another game six. Can we win another game six back to back? Or will Memphis, will John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies force a game seven this time? Okay, we are demolishing them. There is no way they're coming back. Yeah, this is over with. Let me see the boxer real quick. KD, 36, 5, and 3. Jordan Poole, 25. Klay Thompson, 22. Curry, 21, 7, and 8. And then KD goes on to win Western Conference Finals MVP, averaging 35 and 1 in the playoffs. As we meet up against the Milwaukee Bucks in the year 2022 versus Giannis Middleton, Drew Holiday. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. We take game one. Let me see the box score. Curry with 39 in game one. Going into game two, Warriors take game two. Katie with 32, Curry with 29. Going into game three. Oh man, this, this I got. Oh, and Giannis with 52 and 11, and they still lose. We're going into game four. Will we sweep them in four games? And it looks like we are because our offense is too much for the Bucks defense, as you guys can see. Dude, 2K, we gotta fix this, bro. I hate these championship celebrations, bro. How long has the game been out? And we still got the opposite team celebrating with the team that won. Look at Giannis, man. He thinks he's on the Warriors. This is crazy. In another world where KD decided to stay in Golden State, they still went on to win with KD winning his third ring. And by the way, look at KD's numbers, man. 44, 3, and 5. Wow. 16 for 22, 4 for 5. Nah, this man was not playing this year. He said he needed that third ring. And instead of Curry winning finals MVP in 2022, KD goes on to win it instead. We're now in 2023. The team is still looking solid, so we have a chance to go back to back. Let's see what happens, man. This is going to be fun. All right, this year we finished with a record of 55 and 27, but still finished with the best record in the league, also finishing first in the West. And uh, I hope you Warriors fans appreciate me doing this video because in all honesty, I did this video for you guys. You guys are currently hurting right now. Or should I say you guys been hurting the last two seasons with the Warriors team being absolutely terrible and the dynasty is starting to fall off so uh yeah I'm, I'm doing you guys a favor curry's numbers dropped as he went on to average 22 5 and 6 katie's numbers also dropped averaging 22 5 and 4 clay thompson's numbers also dropped averaging 13 2 and 2 what is going on right now i don't even know how we made it first in the west but um let's see what happens in the playoffs in the first round we're playing okc the team of shake yo just alexander this this should be pretty easy we take game one we take game two, take game three, and we take game four, sweeping them 
as we now play the Minnesota Timberwolves in the second round of the playoffs. No Norman Powell was on this team also. There there's no way. Some trades had to have happened, which was completely out of my hands. Uh we still take game one, take game two, we take game three, they take game four. Uh oh. Are they coming back? They do not. As we make it to the Western Conference Finals for the third year in a row playing the dallas mavericks but yeah as i was saying i cannot control that i try to make these rosters as perfect as possible so um don't blame me guys but we're now playing the dallas mavericks in the third round team of Kyrie, luca and christian wood they're the second seed in the west we take game one we take game two we take game three uh-oh uh-oh oh my god can they take us out in game six the mavs are up three two on us we have to win this to force in order to force a game seven. Oh my god and we beat them in game seven that was a close game the celtics are waiting for us let's see what happens in game seven come on come on can the warriors can kd and the golden state warriors go back to back oh my god oh my god kd winning finals well western conference finals mvp averaging 27 8 and 4. so we're playing the boston celtics in the 2023 nba finals I believe it was Miami versus Denver this year. Let's see what happens though in this simulation. The Celtics take game one. They take game two. Oh boy. Come on. Let's make a comeback. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. KD 38, 5, and 4. The Warriors are one win away from going back to back with KD on the roster. Will the Celtics force a game seven or can the Warriors win in game six? Oh boy. Let's let's jump in. There's 10 seconds left. Warriors are up by one. Can Jason Tatum score right here, or will we win the championship? What is going to happen? Oh, my God. That's a good shot. He missed. The Golden State Warriors have went on to win back-to-back -back championships once again with KD on the roster. And that's what I'm talking about. A player that's actually on the team celebrating. Let's go. Bro, this is absolute comedy right here. Kevin Looney goes on to win finals MVP. Now, nah, but all BS aside, I guess that was just like a glitch in the game, but um, Curry actually goes on to win finals MVP, averaging 22, 6, and 8. We're now in the current year of 2024, as KD is still a part of the Golden State Warriors, but this time, they add CP3. Let's see what happens, man. This team is looking all right. And adding KD to the squad is, is absolutely insane. Let's see what happens, man. Just in case you guys want to see the awards for this season of 2024, Luka MVP, Victor Rookie of the Year, Russell Westbrook Six Man of the Year, Victor Defensive Player of the Year in his rookie season, and uh, yes, Steve Kerr with Coach of the Year with a record of 57 and 25. Curry went on to average 26, 4 and 4. KD went on to average 21, 5 and 3. Klay Thompson went on to average 16, 3 and 3. Let's see what Chris Paul was averaging. Okay, 7, 3 and 7. Hmm, not bad. That's that's actually solid off the bench. But now the real question is, can the Warriors help CP3 get his first ever championship? We take game one. We take game two. We take game three and we sweep them in the first round. The number one seed, currently the number one seed, the Timberwolves, we sweep them in the first round. Now we play Zion and the Pelicans in the second round. See what happens here. We take game one. We take game two. They take game three. Oh boy. Oh boy. We take them out in just six games as we now play the LA Lakers. Really? The LA Lakers in the Western Conference Finals? That that's that's interesting. Imagine that actually happens again. Okay, this is gonna be a tough challenge for LeBron as he's facing up against KD and Curry. The Lakers take game one. Let me see the box score real quick. KD 37, 6, and 6. LeBron 38 and 11. AD 21 and 14 with three steals and three blocks. We're two games in. Going into game three, the Lakers take game three. We take game four. Going into game five, we take game five. It's time to simulate with the Simcast. Can we beat the Lakers in game six again to advance to the NBA Finals or will LeBron and AD force a game seven? Let's see what happens. And um, this is over with as KD goes on to win Western Conference Finals MVP again. And in the 2024 NBA season, we get the finals matchup of the 76ers and the Golden State Warriors. Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, Curry, Klay Thompson, KD, yo, this is fun right here. I'm not gonna lie. This actually happens IRL. Well, obviously, without KD, it'll be something fun to watch. We take game one. Let me see the box score real quick. 
Okay, okay, nothing too crazy. Going into game two, 2-0, two, oh, two, one, three, one, and oh boy. KD goes on to win three championships with the Golden State Warriors back to back to back, winning a total of five championships throughout his career in Golden State with Curry. As Curry goes on to win finals MVP again, averaging 25, two and four. Hey man, there you guys have it. That is what would have happened. That, that is what would have happened if KD would have just stayed loyal to Golden State. KD could have had a total of five NBA championships, but he snoozed, man. He chose to go to Brooklyn with Kyrie. That didn't work out, even with Harden, to then end up in Phoenix with Devin Booker and CP3. As CP3 ends up leaving to come to KD's old team and Golden State, and win his first ever championship but if you guys want to see what would happen if i erased lebron from nba history make sure to click on the video on the screen other than that i will see y'all boys in the next one